Welcome to Kitchen 143. I am your host, Michelle Aventajado, Mama and Manila. Um, and I am here to spend some time with you in the kitchen doing things that we love. Last week, we kicked off a four-part series with Potatoes USA, and we are going to unpack frozen potatoes and learn from some of our chef friends. And um, last week, we learned from Nino Rai. He taught us how to use curly fries and make katsu all the more delicious. And he also showed us how you could use tater tots in brownies, making them even more scrumptious. This week, we will be kicking off the second episode of this four-part series, and we're spending time with chef mom, Rosebud Benitez. I'm sure you all know about her. She's been cooking for some time now, both on TV and, of course, on her prolific YouTube channel. So, um, Chef Mom Rosebud, welcome. Welcome to Kitchen 143. How are you, my friend? Hello, Michelle. Hello to everyone who's watching today. I'm very excited. Dito sa demo na magaganap ngayong araw na to. I hope that more people are going to be watching so that they learn more about U.S. potatoes. Yes. Well, we know that U.S. potatoes are um, not just versatile, but of course, nutritious. And we're really excited to spend time with you here in the kitchen. Um, as usual, we know that there are giveaways. So if you guys are usual viewers, our usual standby. So if you know um, that we have our giveaways, we have a U.S. potatoes mouse pad, lots of fun swag from U.S. Potato. So did you know you could also bake with U.S. Potato products? Yes, you can. So we're going to learn more about that through this cookbook. And then, of course, you're going to get your own U.S. Potatoes apron. I love that it's denim. Mm -hmm. And a backpack to carry, of course, all of your things now that we're going out of the house a little bit more. Okay, so if you... Um, would like to participate, you know that you need to be watching from the Rappler Facebook page and the Mama and Manila Facebook page so we can see your comments if you're going to answer the quiz, the cook questions. As always, we need you to, of course, share the live, make sure it's set to public, and of course, answer the questions in the correct order, answer them correctly. So our first um before we get into our first question, let's chat a little bit more to get to know Chef Mom Rosebud. Chef, you yes. um, were all in lockdown, but you are looking fabulous. I see you're posting wow. a lot of. <laughs> I see you're posting a lot of fitness content lately. So, what are some of your tips and tricks to, you know, I mean, looking your best, feeling your best, and of course, while preparing the best kinds of meals for your family? Actually, you know, being a chef, it's really hard to um, maintain a certain uh, ideal weight because I'm always around food. If I don't have to cook for my family, I have to cook for different brands, I have to cook for different companies. So it's really, it's really a challenge for me. Every day is a struggle, but I have this mindset since I'm not getting any younger. Hello, diba? Para I'm in my mid 40s already. <laughs> it's harder actually to like lose weight, but I have this conscious effort lang of wanting to be healthier. And it all starts with what you eat. It's always gonna be about that. No matter how much you move, if you don't um, watch what you eat, wala rin. So me, I love eating food. As all of you know, I love cooking food. I love eating food. Pero I just really now, especially now, I just taste a bit of everything and make sure na hindi ko rin naman din deprive yung sarili ko. Para, kasi when you deprive yourself of good food, magbibinge ka rin later on eh. So you know, Agreed. like, you try, try to eat lang small pieces or diba, little amounts of food lang para lang masatisfy yung cravings mo. And yun nga, it's what you eat. And of course, yun nga, tayong mga nasa bahay, we were stuck for a long time at home. So, <laughs> yes. Diba? I, I know yes. a lot of people gained weight. I am one of them actually. I'm just starting to lose the weight now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's actually okay lang naman yan, ano. We can't beat ourselves naman because of that. Pero agreed, yeah, like we, could, we should start moving, exercising. We don't even have to have a treadmill at home. Pero galaw-galaw right. lang din talaga. Like, you know, be the one to make up your bed, kayo maglinis ang kusina, or like, 
kayo maglinis ng mga tables nyo after you eat, just to make sure that we are moving. Agree, agree. So, um, yes to staying active as best we can. Um, yes. I love that we have the opportunity now. Things are lightening up, so we will be able to go outside a little bit more and bring the kids mm -hmm. out as well. I know you have a little one close in age to Jelly. So, yes. um, for us, getting outside is a big deal, but we do know that it's more like the 80-20, right? Like you said, yeah. it's what you eat, 80% what you eat, 20% yeah, of what you eat. Yeah. So, so um, while we are chatting, I will, I do want to just say hello to some of our viewers who are tuning in. Of course, ladies and gents, let us know where you're watching from. Um, we do want to chat with you. If you have any questions for Chef Mom Rosebud, or if you have questions about U.S. potatoes, of course, we'll do our best to answer them. And, um, oh, Carrie Dre already said she wants the cookbook. Carrie, the cookbook <laughs> has some pretty fantastic recipes. I was flipping through it earlier. Um, did you know that you can make these sweets um, with U.S. potato products? So it's like mm -hmm. really amazing how versatile the products are and of course nutritious. So chef, when we're talking about um, what we eat, uh, that 80%, we want to make sure that we have um, foods that are high and um vi with vitamins and yes. minerals loaded with those vitamins and minerals and we Very know nice. that even with the, the recipes that you're creating and you're showing us today um because they're potato based right mm -hmm. they're an excellent source of vitamin c um yes. a great source of potassium rich in vitamin b6 of course and high in fiber iron and of course a great non-animal source of protein. So if you guys are vegan, potatoes are great for protein as well. Um, okay, I know that Potatoes USA sent you a challenge. Um, chef, mom, do you wanna tell us about what you'll be making and how um, you came up with the inspiration for them? Um, because when we think of potatoes, or yes, potatoes, parang iniisip na natin uh, kaagad, it would be something fried like French fries, like the hash browns, divide something right. that's fried. But we have to understand that U.S. potatoes, like what you said earlier, it's very versatile. We could use it for a lot of our dishes. Although it was originally made naman talaga for frying, we could use it for other techniques. Hindi kailangan laging fried. Kasi pag iniisip natin, pag fried or french fries, it's actually unhealthy. May ganong thinking tayo. Right. Right? So like, right. like you said, potatoes are actually uh, nutrient-dense. Diba? It's yes. really packed with nutrients. And what's good about potatoes it also doesn't have fat, no fat, no cholesterol, and no sodium. So sa mga Weight Watchers dyan, I'd suggest, <laughs> diba, if you're looking for uh, carbs diba, that you can eat, this is actually a good substitute as compared to your rice. I know that yeah. we Filipinos, we love rice, so medyo mahirap tanggalin talaga sa diet natin doon. But we can have days wherein we won't be eating rice and just eat potatoes instead. Because like, um, on comparison, then like, uh, you have 149 grams of potatoes, you only get 110 calories for that serving. But as right. compared to rice, I think it's um, if you have 149 grams of rice, you're gonna have around 192 calories wow. per serving. Almost so that's double. still a lot. Yeah, yeah that's, that's almost lot, double the potato. Mm -hmm. Correct. So. So, kailangan lang din na, you know, we would, we should be able to um, incorporate yung mga U.S. potatoes, yung mga iba't ibang dishes, so we don't have to fry them. Like what I'm gonna be doing today. So, yes. for today, I prepared something, uh, alam niyo naman ako, doon sa mga nanonood ngayon who would watch my YouTube channel or would, who would uh, follow me on my social media accounts, I think I'm known for dishes that are easy to prepare. Yes. No hassle. Yung tipong kahit na mag magluto ka, yung maganda ka pa rin dapat pagkatapos mo magluto. That's very important, hindi ka na haggard sa pagluluto. Right. So for today, I'm gonna be making two recipes using uh, frozen U.S. potatoes. So for the first recipe, do I tell na my recipe? Yeah, we can. Yeah, let's tell okay. them. So for the first recipe, I'm using um, U.S. potato wedges for this okay. recipe. And I'm gonna be making my... Ham and veggie U.S. potato crusted pizza. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. And everybody uh, loves pizza. pizza. Hello. Correct. <laughs> so lahat ng gagawin ko recipes today is something that um, 
hindi alam mo parang we can prepare for our families kasi di ba everybody loves pizza di ba parang I don't think I don't think I've met anyone na ayaw sa pizza yung pag inalok mo para ayaw nila I don't think I've met anyone like that and using mm-hmm. our US potato wedges as the crust will make it more interesting and more delicious and of course yun nga parang healthier siya in a way because Absolutely. of the nutrients that we have in the potatoes. In the potatoes. Okay. Yes. Fantastic. So that's the first recipe. We'll talk more about the second recipe in a little bit, but what we would like to do, of course, we'll get a head start on those quiz the cook questions. So Chef Mom, I'm not sure if you've seen the show before, but we get to have an opportunity for our viewers to try out some of the things that we're doing here. So they can get to try their very own recipes using um, the bake cook cookbook from Potatoes USA. They can wear their apron, of course, and then while they're sitting and watching the live, they can use their mouse pad. And because we can go out now, they are open to receiving a backpack. Um, And of course, if you would like to answer the quiz, the cook questions, make sure you share the live on your Facebook page. Make sure it's set to public. This is the first question. So the first person to answer correctly will get to take home this U.S. potato swag. But before you do that, make sure that you have a Metro Manila address that we can deliver to, okay? Because this kit will be delivered within Metro Manila. So you could choose to share it with a friend, um, maybe a potato partner, someone who loves potatoes as much as you do, or you could even send it to a family member. So before we get started with Chef Mom Rosebud's um, pizza recipe. Let's have a true or false. So here we go. Fresh potatoes are more nutritious compared to frozen and dehydrated potato varieties. So in our last episode, we did talk about the different ways you can enjoy U.S. potatoes. Um, Here in in the country, we have frozen potatoes. We have, and they're available nationwide, right? So you have frozen potatoes, you have fresh potatoes, and you even have the dehydrated potatoes that are like granules or flakes or even potato flour when you use it in baking. So all of these products... Um, that question there, if you were listening and paying attention last week, whether or not the nut- this affects the nutritional value. So um, we know that there are lots of varieties. So Chef Mom, we're, we're talking about frozen, right? We're unpacking yeah. frozen potatoes. What's your favorite frozen potato variety that you would have stocked in your freezer? Ano ako eh, like my kid, French fries. <laughs> I <laughs> hope the fries. That's what, that's what you always have here at home in fries talaga. But I love yeah. everything potatoes. Ha? I love hash browns. I love the wedges. Pero kung ako yung tatunangin mo, something that I always have stocked inside my ref would be French fries. Same, same yeah. for us. <laughs> we usually have like the skinny, the shoestring fries, but we yeah. also have hash browns. Mm -hmm. Um, I was sharing with Ninong Rai last week that I am a tater tot lover. I think they're also called tater drums. I think you're using them today in a a recipe as well. So we do have a winner. So congratulations, Glenn Paolo Morales. He said false. And this is true. This is correct. That's the correct answer. (laughs) False is correct. The process of freezing or dehydrating the potatoes does not affect the nutritional value. In fact, it actually um, prolongs the life right because we can put them in the freezer and they stay they stay better than they do if they were fresh right so correct it actually prolongs their shelf shelf life okay so congratulations glenn make sure that when the social media team reaches out to you you give a metro manila address as well as an email and a phone number so um potatoes usa can get in contact with you and they will send you your potatoes usa swag guys there is still another chance to win we will open it up um we see that some of our viewers here are claiming the cookbook. They really want that <laughs> cookbook. Some are watching from Muntin Lupa, from Paranyake. Um, let's see. Uh, Rika Rose Ladaras Garcia says, Hi, Mom. She. So I guess that's for both of us since we're yeah. both. Here. 
<laughs> um, let's see. Okay, so everyone, guys, do tell us where you're signing in from and where you're watching, and if you have any questions. Oh, here, um, Chini Bene Beniza Below Balawis. I'm so sorry for butchering your name. <laughs> Question for Chef Rosebud. Ano ano papo? Puede gawin para mas maging crunchy ang French fries. So how would you oh. make your French fries crunchier? It's actually very important the temperature ng oil nyo when you fry. It's very important that you keep it at high temperature. Tapos yung fries nyo parang it shouldn't be super thawed out. It should be yes. but still cold from the freezer. Tapos yes. when in contact with hot oil, that will make your fries. Crunchy. Kasi kung ba, tino out niyo yung, ba, if you thawed out your fries, hindi na siya ganun kalamig. And then the temperature of your oil doesn't reach high temperature. That's so, right. hindi talaga siya naluluto ka agad. You have to shock the fries. Yun yun. You have to shock it para maganda yung pagkaluto niya. Shock it with the hot oil. Imagine, imagine yun na lang, di ba? Ang lamig, tapos mainit, masashock talaga yun. So, maganda yung pagka-crisp up ng ating French fries. Yeah, that makes so much sense um, when... You know, when you think about it, um, shocking yeah. it into that crunchy state. Okay, thank you for that question. That Thank you, Chini. That was such a good thank question. You, I learned something new. Okay, so we do have another quiz the cook question. Of course, this is, um, you may be required to do a little bit of homework here. You may, if you were listening last episode as well, we're building on each episode here. So even for the third and the fourth episode where we'll be spending time in the kitchen with some new chefs, new chef friends, um, um, we'll be building there. So hopefully you were listening last week when we talked about <laughs> this question. As always, you will get to take home for this four-part series your very own cookbook teaching you how to use potatoes in baking treats for your family, your own apron, of course, when you get busy in the kitchen, a mouse pad for when you're watching us live, and a backpack since we are going out into the world again. Things are getting easier and, of course, safer. Here is the quiz the cook question, fourth person to answer correctly because this is one, four, three, four, four. Chef, I know we're <laughs> the same age, so I know you know what that means. I know. Um, <laughs> here here is um, the question, how many farming families does Potatoes mm. USA work with? So if you guys are um, watching and if you were paying attention last week, then you would know. Um, you may even be searching now. So Chef Mom, while our viewers are um, coming up with the correct answer and we're waiting for the fourth person to answer correctly. Who inspired you to spend time or to invest time in the kitchen and, and, and study to become a chef? Um, actually growing up, like when I was a little girl, I never really saw anyone in the kitchen because my mom would always be away. And like other families, na, they would say, na, I got it because my mom would always be slaving in the kitchen. I didn't really have that growing up because my mom would always be abroad. But um, I would watch a lot of cooking shows growing up. And one of the cooking shows that I would watch every Saturday, Yan, meron pang Channel 9 yun. I don't know kung sino pa makakaalala nito, was Walk With Yan. Ah! Um, walk With Yan. Tama, magkaedad talaga tayo. Malapit-lapit talaga yung edad natin. Hindi <laughs> ko alam kung yung mga nanonood sa atin ngayon ay nakaka-relate pa. If you don't know that, please Google. Ewan ko lang kung nas, malamang naman nasa Google yan. Walk with yan. I would watch it every Saturday morning. So, yes. I would, nai-enjoy ko lang sa panoorin. And another one that I would watch, ano naman, is Cooking with the Dazas. I also okay. grew up oh, yes, watching of that. Course. So I grew of up course. watching a lot of cooking shows. That's what got me interested in cooking. And then later on, like in my teens na, yun, my stepdad would always cook in the kitchen. Siya naman, yung stepdad, yun, nakita ko na parang, ah, ang galing niya kasi magluto, ang step niya magluto. So that's what really got me interested in, took in cooking. Pero so, nag-start ako baking talaga. I mean, as a young girl, I didn't really like to cook before. I love baking. I, I would attend mga courses for baking. Mga, yung mga short courses every weekend. So my mom would always enroll me there. So I really started with baking before I learned how to cook. 
Well, Yo. so for those of you who do watch the episode, Chef Mom Rosebud also partnered with us for the Spanish episode. And if you guys won that, you got to try her burnt fast cheesecake. So she can cook and she can bake and it's amazing. So you guys definitely know that we are in good hands for this episode. And it's so funny that we both were inspired by Cook with Walk with Jan also. I was actually just talking to Nino about... Um, about that chef we were i think it was chinese new year i was looking at yeah. some of the things he was posting for inspiration and it's so funny that that's really our age and he even said he used to watch it when he was a kid too yeah so i think we have a winner wow um and i know that she's been waiting so um it's just so nice to make cuento and especially when our because we're the same age we have the age same the influence ball. there <laughs> okay so rejoice our puerto answered correctly with 2000 to 2500 us potato farmers yes so potatoes usa so us potatoes they they work with all of these farmers of course to get us the best products um, that yeah. we enjoy here in the philippines nationwide okay so let's talk about congratulations rejoice make sure that you give your information so that we can send your prizes over to you okay chef tell us about um your pizza dish now i think we can start showing everybody um how okay to okay so i'll start so this is actually like what i said earlier it's actually very simple super simple talaga i don't know if you'll be ang dali dali lang talaga mm -hmm. gawin Actually, wala nga masyadong cooking involved. It's actually more of assembly. Um, so I'll be baking this in the oven. Naka preheat na yung oven ko to 200 degrees Celsius or 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So Very I have here that. our, yeah, I have here our U.S. potato wedges. So I'm using this as my crust for the pizza instead of the normal dough. I am sure okay. you've heard na meron naman mga potato pizza, di ba? Like uh, the normal crust and then you have like slices of potatoes on top. Pero I just thought that this would actually make it more interesting because the crust, like I'm using the U.S. potato wedges, which is already seasoned with flavorings, di ba? Okay, so even better. Own. So yeah, even the crust, meron agad flavor. And like what you said nga and what we have been saying, that it's actually nutrient dense. So what I'm going to do, okay, I have here the potato wedges. So all I have to do is just mash this. So this has been taken out from the freezer hours before pa, para thawed out na siya. And then you squeeze out some of the um, water from it and just mash it like so. Okay. So napanood ko rin yung kay... Ninong Rai, last week I saw him rin, he was using a masher. Pag wala kayong masher, you could use your fork, pwede rin yan. Yeah, so the difference is um, your 400 grams of the U.S. wedges, right? You yeah. thawed it. Ninong Rai, I, I think it. He, he fried he his fried first it. Yeah. to make it extra crunchy. It. Yeah. Yes, yun nga. So like what I said, pwede yung hindi mo na siya i-fry. Yung mga, mga right. this is another way of showing everyone who's watching right now that hindi lang siya naka, naka ano, for frying there are so many ways that you could use um u.s potatoes yun nga di ba right. baking pwede pa okay so let's right. just mash it so kailangan lang eh it doesn't really have to be um super mashed na sobrang smooth so pwede naman na medyo rough din siya it's okay okay and of course like with the potato wedges we know that it has skin on so more flavor and more and fiber there and fiber correct yeah okay so let's just smash that and then let me just get a spoon ah, hindi, ito na lang. a spatula there you go okay i hope they're seeing this so super yes. easy lang. Alam, ayan, no? it's seasoned already that's why the color is like that also parang may orange din siya na color and then I'm going to be adding cornstarch. So this is around half cup of cornstarch. Okay. So just add it into the bowl together with your mashed U.S. potato wedges. And then you could also season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. Although you could skip this all together because like what I mentioned, the seasons are in when you're adding potato yes. wedges. But if you just want, yeah. total nandito na rin naman yung salt and pepper. Right. Sh shaker call, might as well use it. Okay. So all you have to do is just mix this all together until the cornstarch 
is properly incorporated into our widgets. All right. There. So, so the oven is preheated. Um, yes. What should we have our oven preheated to? It's 200 degrees um, Celsius or 400 degrees Fahrenheit. There you go. So okay. nice and hot. So yes. for those, important to preheat the oven beforehand, the right, chef. Correct. Because we have to make sure that the temperature is already correct before we place in our food. Yeah. Para okay. mag bake siya ng maayos. There. So let's okay. mix it. Okay. And then all the ingredients for my toppings. You could use whatever toppings you like. So, minsan nga, di ba, you use nga mga leftover nyo there. Pwede rin niya. Uh -huh. And for yes. this recipe, I'm using, of course, you need pizza sauce. You could make from scratch. Pero kung ayon yung pahirapan ng sarili nyo, just buy one. That's, di ba, yeah. store-bought naman na pizza sauce. And, And then I'm using, coffee. yeah, there's a lot of flavors actually for the pizza sauce. Yeah. But like what I said, whatever toppings that you like. Pero for me nga, I'm using ham. I have ham, I have sliced mushrooms, I have cheeses, I have um, bell peppers. There you go. Okay. So, so all of very, those very things. Easy. Yeah. Okay, so it's it looks probably like that's it. very incorporated. Um, let's yeah. see if we can show your hand cam also so that you can't really see the cornstarch anymore, guys. It needs yeah. to be well incorporated there with the Perfect. wedges. There. Can they see it? Ayan. Yeah. Lang. Medyo lang arm, ano, exercise ng <laughs> This is a good workout. We were talking diba? about medyo working out. <laughs> Correct. Ayan, medyo may konting arm workout lang. Okay, so next thing that I'm gonna do is I'll assemble it already. Okay. This is something that you could make or do with a young kid or an older kid. Make it right. a family event inside the kitchen. Pwede yan. Always. More hands to help. Correct. So I have here a 10-inch... Um, pizza pan or pizza okay. plate mm -hmm. so i'll just put all of our yeah potatoes here so this will be our crust so you can't wait to try this yeah oh this is mga nanonood ngayon please don't just watch and you know, look for <laughs> or wait for the prices i hope that you could try this at home because yes you know, and We're at home most of the time. We want to prepare something different, something new for our family, diba? even our friends. So this is something that you could prepare. So just place all of it here and just yeah, push it down to make the crust. So imagine crust, niya, hindi nga lang thin. We want it a little bit thicker because, of course, we want to taste the goodness of the potatoes, potatoes right? Of course. Yeah. So if you are sure. going to try this recipe at home, guys, make sure you tag us. We want to see it. Yes. So make sure to tag Chef Mom Rosebud and, of course, um, Potatoes USA PHL and, and Kitchen 143. We'd love to see what you guys make together. Now, if you're curious about this recipe as well, you can also check out potatogoodness.ph, Chef Mom Rosebud is sure to provide uh, the recipe for with Potatoes USA. So you guys can go ahead and check it out on the website. And um, it's there as, as well as the recipes from last week as in inclusive also. Oh, check nyo yan sa mga nanonood because you'll be surprised at how versatile potatoes are. I mean, you could use it for breakfast dishes, for lunch, for dinner, nakita nyo nga, dessert, and now for snacks. It's really very versatile. So this one, so I'm just putting it, pushing it down to make sure na press down siya. Of course, just make sure that your hands are clean. Pero nahiya naman ako ng gloves na. <laughs> you usually, gloves. Kasi, yeah, usually I really don't wear gloves in the kitchen. I just make sure that I wash my hands every now and yes. then. Yes. So hindi naman tayo na, like even our moms, di ba? I mean, us kids who grew up with the mom, moms or dads na would cook in the kitchen. Our moms would hardly use gloves before kasi no. nandun, even when mixing lumpia or whatever, yeah. they use their hands. Diba yung mga grandma yes. Kasi nandun daw sa kamay yung lasa. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they say. Pero nahiya naman ako sa mga viewers natin. Nasa Rappler pa naman tayo. <laughs> Please. Baka manus ako. 
<laughs> okay, so this is pressed down already. As you can see, parang may mga buo-buo. Nakikita ba nila? Ayun, no, may mga buo-buo pa na konti. And that's fine, ha? That's really fine. That's okay. So what you can do, you could actually par-bake this. You could okay. bake this ahead of time for like 10 minutes. Or pwede rin naman to save time. Katulad ko, I like saving time. We'll just yeah. bake it all together with the topping. Toppings. So again, I have here our pizza sauce. Okay, so just place it here. See, it's really something simple, no? Super really simple. simple. Oh, oh, oh. It can be done so fast. And you could actually put the kids to work for this if you wanted. Especially Correct. that working out part if you didn't oh, want to oh. <laughs> so, okay, your kids will enjoy doing this with you because, you know, they like placing stuff here. Diba sila mag-decorate? And then, you, like, you also make them choose anong toppings ang gusto nila. Diba? That's right. Always a choice. Always a choice. Yes. There you go. So let me just spread our pizza sauce. Not too thick naman. Just enough. So I'm leaving some space sa gilid para lang alam natin na potatoes yung kinakaya natin na crust. Yeah, so you and can then, see. And then, okay. Okay, I'll use my gloves again. Nahiya ako eh. <laughs> you don't have to be. Chef, while you're putting the ingredients on, okay. we have a question again. This Whoa. time from... Harry Dre, and I won't read the Tagalog. I'll just say it in English. <laughs> so, oh, Chef Rose, yes. what if you don't? What if you don't have an an oven? What's the alternative? So, could you uh, do this in a pan? Pwede, pwede in a pan. You could actually. Um, what you can do is just use a Teflon pan and just um put it on stove top. Pwede yan. Right. But the the other ingredients. Siguro, like the ham and the ano, you could pre-cook it ahead of time. Okay. Diba? Yeah. Pwede rin yan. Pwede yan. Or if you have an oven toaster, that's also fine. Yeah, yeah. Just make so just your... make smaller. Make yeah, make smaller. smaller ones. Like yung mga pandesal pizza. Make smaller yeah. ano na lang, versions. Okay, Individual so size. And yes. then you're controlling portions too, actually. Correct. Okay, okay, another so, question from Juvie. So it looks like Chef Chef Mom has already put her ham, but Juvie mm -hmm. has a question. Um, okay. Could she blend the potatoes para mas not totally fine as crust? Meaning, so she'll blend it a little bit more. As Pwede, di ba? Pwede rin, yeah. Pero kasi parang if you're gonna blend it, uh, dadagdag pa sa huhugasan mo. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be an additional work for you. I would say that right. mash it na lang, di ba? Because yeah. you don't want it rin naman super fine, right? That's so, right. gusto mo rin, you'd want rin sana a bit of that, when you when you bite into it, you'd still get to taste potato bits. Yung parang yeah. ganyan. And so, I really texture. wouldn't recommend. Yeah, yeah, correct. You want the texture you of your like potatoes. the texture. Yeah. So, I'm so we some do... cheddar cheese now. Nice, this is perfect. Cheese. Of course, pizza always goes well with cheese, and everybody loves cheese. So, like what I said, this recipe is something that your whole family will enjoy, not just the kids. Agree. And of course, we have also mozzarella cheese. Or if you can't you find go. mozzarella Oops. cheese, just yeah. look for a quick melting cheese. It's fine, diba? For Any the medyo ano? Any cheese? Oh, oh, totally. yeah. So, let's so we have some of our viewers who are saying hello. Okay, so um, Anna, hello, cousin, how are you? Um, Alexis de Castro Villa Pan Pando, you're back again. Nice to see you. C.A. Morales says your pizza is mouth-watering. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Agree, C.A. I can't wait to try this myself. Um, let's see. Healthy and happy snack from Lee Villelia. And yes, this yes, is yes. a new recipe. Um, oh, Anna says, I miss Juliana's. I'm not familiar with Juliana's. Is that a pizza place? Do you know of that? I'm not. Uh, no, not in an era. <laughs> <laughs> we would know it was an era. I'm not familiar with Juliana's. Okay. Um, enlighten kami. Ayan, ilalagay ko na yung bell pepper para meron, meron na tayong gulay. Tsaka color, of course. 
So let's There's just add the up there. Peppers. There you go. Yes, and then red. Okay. This is actually an easy way to get the kids to eat vegetables on top Correct. of potatoes and cheese, everything they True. love, True. right? Yes. Have you seen that meme? There's a meme. Um, it's a pizza slice, and it's, you can't make everyone happy, you're not pizza. Because pizza <laughs> makes yes, make everyone that. happy, Deva. Right? Everybody loves pizza. I haven't met a single person my whole life na ayaw sa pizza. Agreed. Okay, so, see, assembly done. Medyo natagal ang panga dahil ang daldal ko at nag-loves ako. But see how fast and easy that was. So, here, makikita na ba nila? Super. Ayan, no? So, you could just add whatever topping you like, whatever's available in your kitchen, whatever's avail available in your pantry. Huwag natin pahirapan ng sarili natin. So, I'll be baking this in the oven for around 20 to 25 minutes until mag-melt ang mga cheese natin. And of course, for our crust to properly cook as well. So, lagi ko na muna sa kitsa, aking oven. Ayan. There you go. There. Well, so, one recipe done. Maglilin so, in the oven, ito. the pizza goes. It's, um, we have this U.S. potato crusted pizza, which, of course, we saw that um, Chef, Rose, Chef Mom Rosebud was able to utilize frozen potatoes that were thawed out. Very easy for her to put together. It is true. This is correct. Chef Mom Rosebud wants to make all of our lives easier. And even in terms of blending, that's one more thing you got to wash. Let's not do that. We have more questions. Um, quiz the cook as Chef Mom is bringing out the next set of ingredients for her next recipe that she's going to be sharing with us from Potatoes USA. You will get a chance to win Bake. This is a, a dessert cookbook using U.S. potatoes products, and you'll get to try some of these recipes at home. You'll also have an apron. You'll receive an apron if you answer this question correctly. Also, um, a mouse pad, because of course, we're all at work from home. But as things are lightening up, you'll use your backpack too. Your U.S. potatoes backpack is really cute, has lots of storage. I don't know about you, if you like pockets and different things to organize yourself, that's great. Okay, so this is the third question. Remember, it's kitchen 143, so the third person to answer correctly who has shared the live stream on their own Facebook profile, set it to public, and has a Metro Manila address that they can deliver to. Guys, you don't have to live in Metro Manila to win. You can answer and, of course, send the swag to someone you love, um, to someone who you would like to share the kitchen love with as well. Here we go. I will read this next question. What Potatoes USA product did Chef Mom Rosebud Benitez use for her ham and veggies U.S. potato crusted pizza recipe? So there are quite a few and you can go ahead and Make sure you answer correctly. Chef Mom, do you want to tell us about the next recipe while we're waiting for the next person to answer correctly? Remember, guys, third question, third person to answer correctly. What are we making? Yes. So for the second recipe, this is another snack recipe, which you could prepare again for your whole family. This is not just for kids. It's for the whole family. And it's something that's, again, very easy to make. So I'll be making the U.S. potato tater tot and bacon kebabs. Interesting that enough, yeah. <laughs> Medyo mahaba lang yung, mahaba lang yung title. <laughs> mahaba yung title. So I'll show you how simple it is to make. So for this recipe, I'm using, like what I said, the U.S. potato tater tots or the tater, ano tawag ka dito? Tater drums. Tater, tater drums. drums, yes. Yeah, so this is your favorite. I watched your episode. <laughs> this your is. I grew up I with know. it. I would not getting <laughs> So this is something then that you usually fry, but like I said, diba, you could actually enjoy it. You don't even have to fry it. There are so many different ways you can enjoy frozen U.S. potatoes. So this is one way of enjoying it. So I have here very simple ingredients. And then again, our U.S. potato tater tots. I have here bacon. And then I have, again, cheese and bell peppers. So all very, uh, actually, it's similar lang with my, you know, 
similar with my first recipe, mas konti pa nga yung ingredients ko. So this yeah. one will not require again too much cooking time. It's more of assembly. Dun lang tayo sa assembly. Um, my kind of recipe chef. Yes. Super. Okay, I is this think. Is could actually? I'm sorry, may winner na ba? Okay. Go. I think so. Yeah, we'll announce the winner, and this totally sounds like my kind of recipe. Again, quick, easy, nutritious, um, easy to put together, and um, I, it, it sounds like I would love to make this in my kitchen too. We have a winner. Um, thank you, Robert Tariman. So um, congratulations. You answered correctly with U.S. potato wedges and some hugs and kisses. Thank you for that, Robert. <laughs> we have your X's and O's. Congratulations. The, the team will get in touch with you. Make sure you give them a Metro Manila address so that we can get your U.S. potato swag to you. Okay, so chef, um, we are ready for the next dish. Yeah, okay, so again, let's the kebab. So kebabs usually it's meat, right? Meat and a stick on a stick. So right. I have meat of, as well. I have the bacon, but you know, another source of the protein is our potatoes. So right. I already washed my hands. I have to use my hands for this assembly. <laughs> for this I for yeah. this one. I gloves. So you just need a barbecue stick. You can soak it in water if you like, but since Actually, this one, I'll be baking it as well. So okay. preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit or 210 degrees Celsius. So I'm parang same hour. lang din naman with the oven, yeah? Right. So okay. let's so just put... For... Ayan. Ayan. I'll read through so the ingredients. Just... I'll read okay. through the ingredients for the viewers. So there we have the 400 grams of the U.S. tater tots thawed, um, one green bell pepper cubed. You have also 12 slices of bacon, a cup of cheddar cheese shredded, two tablespoons of spring onions, ranch dressing, or sour cream to serve as a dip. Okay. Yeah. So Ready. very simple. So naglagay na ako ng bell pepper, naka-cube siya or naka-slice siya. So like how you would prepare lang yung mga usual kebabs or barbecue. And then I have here bacon. So we'll just, yeah, thread lang natin siya into the stick. So make sure lang na medyo nasa um, top part lang yung inyong ingredients. I'll show you why. Okay. So here, we add our tater. tater. Okay. So you just have to handle this a little bit gently because it might break. Right. And then you add, and then you thread the Ah, I see. So para siyang mag-weave. Ayan. Yeah. And then you push it down slightly. Okay, this is something that you will enjoy making. So Parang ano rin, easy. Very easy. So again, another piece of your frozen tater tots. But of course, this has been thawed already. Yeah. Thawed right. already. And then so, again, lagay nyo ulit yung bacon. So depending on how many tater tots you want on your stick. Another way of doing this is just wrap your tater tots. In with the bacon. bacon and toothpick, pwede rin ganon. Okay. Parang you're gonna make it into an appetizer, di ba? Oh, you could, yes. You could do that as well. Yes. So, pagka ilalagay lang natin yung tater tots on the stick, ako, I prefer na naka, hindi siya nakatayo, nakababa siyang ganyan. Because, like a barrel. Nakatayo, it might, yeah, like a barrel. Because it might break. So, you just have so to this be careful. So, this is a little bit sturdier this way. So, you do have yes. to, if it's a little bit thawed, we have to be careful when we're threading or when we're yes, putting it on correct. the stick. And the reason and why, why nandun lang siya sa taas, because I don't want na masyado yung spaces ng bacon. Para yeah. I want it lang na naka-weave talaga. So, again, yeah. another another one here. Extra flavor. Yes, of course. Bacon will add, because of the fat, it will add yes. more flavor. You need the fat. It. It's not just potatoes, you also have the bacon there and the, we're going right. to be adding cheese, right? So, ayan. And then we add, we finish it off with another piece another pepper. of bell pepper. So we're just right. going to be using a baking sheet for this. So, lagay lang natin muna yan dyan. So you could actually, if you have this, ang laki nung, ang laki nito ang aking, um, what you call this na aking barbecue stick. You could choose the smaller ones. Yeah. That is good. So I'll make another one. Okay. For those who missed it. So, Again, 
So, yeah. so for those of you watching, I don't know about you guys, um, chef, I'm sure your experience with kids, if the kids can pick it up with their hands and eat it with their hands, Correct. they're so much more likely to finish it. Diba? Correct. So, so easy. This is actually something that for sure the kids will go crazy for. And with that dipping sauce as well, yeah. they'll just pick up that stick and dip, dip. How fun is that? <laughs> so, <laughs> therapeutic rin tong paglagay sa barbecue. So you could actually make this ahead of time. I mean, you could make a big batch. Like if you have a party tomorrow, if you have a gathering right. tomorrow, you could prepare this ahead of time and then just place it in the chiller covered, of course, with some saran wrap. And of then course. when it's time for the party, that's when you bake it. Yes. Diba? I look forward to being able to host small gatherings. Again. Again, right? Correct, no? Well, now it's already mm. level one, so I guess. Yes. Dinner. I'm still a little nervous. I don't know. Yeah. A little bit of me is a little nervous. We, I, can, I definitely... we, we can't keep our guards down. We right. have to check the safety right. protocols. You know? right. we need to be We're not sure. But because now, it's kind of increasing the cases. So again, okay. Let me finish it off here. So if there's extra bacon, okay lang yan. Basta ipasok nyo lang dyan yan. Bacon go. will uh, will do you good. Okay. And I so love that course, these recipes are no fuss. This is like, correct. you really shared something so easy to do for everyone at home. Something easy to do, something new, something exciting for your family to try. Yes. Diba? This yes. is something that you could add to your diba, my birthday party or whatever. Diba? This is another recipe that you could add. Because usually kids, talaga, they love potatoes. They love rice. Nga, diba? So this is another way of introducing potatoes to them. Right? Yes. Yes. Okay, so of course, being me, the person that I am, I prepared... <laughs> okay, nah. yeah. I, mean, I, prepared, I prepared sticks ahead of time already. So I have your sticks. I love that you're so efficient. That's really the work of a mom, ba? Kailangan, kasi bukod sa magluluto ka pa, mag, like now, online schooling, you have to watch over your kids while they're doing That's online right. school. Diba? Right. And then, of course, if you have work, you're working from home, you have to be able to manage your time well. Yeah. So I'll just place this in the oven for okay. around 10 minutes, and then I'll take it out, and then I'll put some cheese on it, and then ready na to. So lagi ko lang sa oven. Perfect. So while we are waiting for Chef Mom Rosebud to um, put her kebabs, her U.S. potato for U.S. taters, bacon, and kebabs in the oven, we can actually take another quiz the cook question. This is the fourth question, guys, for the day. So if you were paying attention, you know that every episode we have fun swag or gifts or food or things for you to try that we have tried here um, in Kitchen 143. And because our partner for the next three, ep this episode and the next two, of course, is U.S. Potatoes, we have Bake which is a cookbook that you can use to make treats, sweet treats using potato products. You have a cute little denim robe, a de not robe, apron, sorry. Um, I have one like this also. I, I think this is really cute. I love that it's denim. Makes me want to wear it in the kitchen even more. Um, and then you have a backpack and of course a mouse pad because we are still working from home, balancing everything. And while you guys are ready for the next Quiz the Cook question, remember to go ahead and share the live. Hashtag sharing is caring. We want everybody to know <laughs> the versatility and of course, um, the potato power that US Potatoes has. Okay, so this is the fourth question. So it's the person who answers, the fourth person who answers correctly. Um, here it is. Are potatoes high in calories? Yes or no? This may be something that many of you may not know. Okay, so chef, let's talk about ease in the kitchen. I see that yeah. you and I are like birds of the feather because it really <laughs> made me laugh when one of the viewers said, could we blend? And you're like, no, you have to wash the blender then. <laughs> we don't want to do that. Additional trabajo, yeah. Right? It'll work for you. 
Right. And it's hard so, to wash the blender. Ha? You have to be careful pa that you don't, you know, you might hurt your hands or something. So, so making things easier in the kitchen, is this something like, I mean, of course, with time, I'm sure that you've gotten better at. If you were going to give some helpful tips or tricks for our viewers regarding U.S. potatoes or Potatoes USA, um, what are some of the things that you could share that save time when we use this product, this versatile product? Well, first of all, like with the U.S. potatoes, the frozen one, it's actually very convenient to use and it's also cost efficient. Why do I say convenient? Like you don't have to use fresh potatoes and peel it, right? right. You don't have to slave like, you know, you don't, you don't have to chop anymore. Like if you're going to make French fries anyway, right? if you want to fry some French fries for your kids, you don't have to like peel the potatoes or chop the potatoes, blend right. it in water and stuff like that. So it's actually very convenient. Super. And it's like what I said, it's cost efficient. Like if you are a person who's handling a business and if you want to use potatoes for your menu this is actually a better alternative as compared to using fresh ones because first of all it stays frozen the shelf life is um long prolonged it's yeah. prolonged as long as you place it in the freezer properly and because uh, like, this potatoes spoil easily right so right right it's be it's better that you use uh, frozen potatoes and you get to control the cost because you already know the yield per pack as compared right. to like if I'm, you're going to be buying one kilo of potatoes you wouldn't really know like if it's going to be a set um, recipe that you have to know how much potatoes it will yield or how many pieces so this is actually a better way of um oh, this is actually better you use frozen potatoes and you know nga, parang you don't have to think about the peeling kasi pagka, when you do costing kasi for restaurants or for recipes mm -hmm. When you peel, wala na yung weight na yun, matatanggal. So it's really better that you use frozen right. potatoes. And yun na nga, parang with the frozen potatoes, there's a connotation kasi that if it's frozen, it's not healthy, na nawawala yung nutrients. When in fact, no, that's wrong. Because like what yeah. we mentioned, diba, in the States, it's actually very strict sila with how they handle the potatoes. I've been there. Yes, potatoes brought me to the States in 2019. So I saw some of the farms. Yes. So nakita ko kung gaano ka meticulous in talagang yung safety right. protocols talagang they really follow it. And even if it's processed, so uh, most of the nutrients are still in the potatoes. So Right. Right. Why, and so ako talaga, I'd, I'd choose uh, frozen potatoes, yes, frozen potatoes compared to fresh ones. I like okay. using it better. Right. So agree with everything that you said. Um for me it's also about um, portion control too. Like if you yeah. have a whole bag in yeah. the freezer, if I'm just going to make a little bit for jelly yes. as a snack Correct. or something, very easy to take it out. Just get, um, yeah. Very easy, you know, whether it's for six or in our case, six or um, for one, if it's just a little snack. So the other thing that um, you mentioned that I thought was important also is that the USDA is involved every step of the way with these Correct. potato products. So like you said, it's they're stringent, um, rigorous uh, requirements and, of course, standards to meet when preparing the U.S. potatoes for us, Correct. right? We get, yes, yes. we get to take advantage of that. So I think we have so many people who have answered, and it looks like we have a winner. Um, Okay, nag alarm na siya. Sorry. There we go. Perfect timing. Okay. Alarm, just check. Okay, you could announce first and I'll check lang my, my products. Okay. Okay. Ah, so, okay. Wild, um, Wild Chef is bringing that out. I think. So, I just have here the ano. Ah, okay. Sorry. I have here the kebabs already. I took it out and then I'll just place some cheese on, on it. So, we will just continue to bake this until the cheese melts. So, okay. Tapos na balik ako ng pizza. Malapit na rin yan. Yes. Perfect. I think they're going to come out very close to one another, no? Um, yeah. Okay. So we have a winner for question number four. Please forgive me in advance for not being able to pronounce your name. I'm, I promise I will get better. Um, Shikaya Zyreen. So that wasn't as difficult. She said no. And this is... Um, correct. In fact, a 5.3 ounce potato with its skin on only has 110 calories 
plus it's gluten-free and fat-free as well. Chef even mentioned earlier in the episode that the same amount of rice um, would actually have 180 calories or 190 calories 90. compared to, right? 190 calories compared to the 110. So potatoes are definitely um, not high in calories. So very good. You answered correctly. Congratulations, Shakaya. The team will be in touch with you. Please make sure to give the correct delivery information. Now, guys, make sure you give your delivery information because once we have all of those names, that's when we turn everything over to U.S. Potato so you can get your swag. Um, all right, Chef, are we ready? Ooh, oh, is ready that night pizza. Woohoo! Fantastic. It looks fantastic. See, it's ready. As you can see, Ang ganda na rin ng crust niya. So medyo, I could actually slice this already. Sandali na lang din yung ating uh, kebab. So I'll okay. just slice this. Mas naiingit ba yung mga nanonood? I'll show it to you. Medyo. Yeah. I'll show. I am. Sorry that, alam mo itong mga demos na to, kawawa yung mga nanonood. Eh. Pero it's also a way to encourage them to try the dish at home. At kebab. home. But you could exactly. experience it. See, exactly. look at that. So the cheese is melted. The, the, uh, potato crust is properly baked already. Yeah, yeah so it looks crispy done. right around the edges. Yes. Right? Perfect. That's the way we like it. Okay, so chef, while you're um, cutting and plating, because we do want you to try it with us, we would yes. like to see you taste it as well. Um, for us, we can move on to the last and uh, you know the last question for the day, as um, Chef Mom Rosebud is. Um, cutting up this U.S. potato crusted pizza looks delicious. Okay, guys, as always, you know that we would like you to share the live. Hashtag sharing is caring. Make sure your profile is set to public. Make sure the post is set to public so we can see it. Um, we want everybody to share the kitchen love here and learning about frozen U.S. potatoes, of course. We want everybody to know just how versatile and easy these products are to work with in your own kitchen, whether that is your home kitchen, a commissary kitchen, you know, your restaurant kitchen, however it is that you're preparing these products. Super versatile, easy to use, and of course, cost effective while prolonging the shelf life of our beloved potatoes. Okay, as always, the prizes that you'll get to take home are potato swag, including a new apron, a new mouse pad, a new cookbook, and of course, a backpack to carry everything in now that things are opening up. Here is the last question. It's a true or false, and I'm sure if you were paying attention, very easy for you to answer. True or false, potatoes contain protein. All right, so while we wait for you guys to answer correctly, this is the last question. So the fourth person to answer correctly who has a Metro Manila address will get to have their own potato swag. Um, delivered to their homes. So as chef there, it sees chef is plating her tater kebabs, her U.S. Yes. tater and bacon kebabs, as well as the U.S. potato crusted pizza. Um, and it looks... It fantastic. looks good. I am ready. <laughs> I wish I was there. Ay, naho. There will come a time na makakapag-live demo tayo ulit. Just Yay. like before. I look forward to that. Okay, Always so I am done. With you. So, for the recipe, I just added a spring onion. It's just for color. So, mm -hmm. it doesn't really add much to the recipe. Actually, it's just really for color and presentation. So that it will look more lively. Of course, we eat with our eyes. So, maganda na appetizing yes. especially for the kids right parang gusto yes. din nila yung magat na tignan and like what's in my recipe you could use a ranch dressing you could use some um, sour cream as a dip or you can just eat it on its own delicious already even without the dip agree there potatoes okay. and it? bacon tanggalin natin yung mga kalat dito ang kalat yeah. na ko <laughs> there yeah, 
Great. Fantastic. We have a, a bird's eye view. Can you see it? Ayan. I sliced a big one na. Para mas makita. And that would be nice for one of my boys. Yep, yes, you can. can. Ayan. You can see the crust and ayan na, this one. There. Can you see it? Oh. Yes, we so can. For everyone who's watching, I hope that you can try this at home. Show that you get to experience what we are talking about, the goodness of U.S. potatoes. And of course, diba, para naman makita nyo rin kung gano rin ka-versatile yung ating potatoes. Okay? Right. And so if you want these recipes that Chef Mom Rosebud created, you can go ahead and visit potatogoodness.ph. The recipes are there for you. Very simple, very easy to put together. I love to see how, so when Chef Mom Rosebud sliced the pizza, everything came together so well. I was kind of wondering whether or not the potatoes were going to really come together like a crust like that. And fantastic. Yeah. It looks great. It looks crispy. The cheese looks perfectly melted. Of course, this would be this would be gone in a heartbeat in our house. <laughs> my, I, my boys I'll just would take a photo, it. huh? Yeah, I'll just take of a course. photo. Humihingi so, si Choi. Hi, Choi. I'll take a photo now for you. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> And of course, if you guys would like to try making this, we want to see your creations. Anything that you make, or even when you receive your potato swag, make sure you can post it and tag us, tag potatoes, USPHL, um, tag kitchen143, tag chef mom Rosebud. Of course, we want to see what you guys are creating, especially if it's using potato goodness. Um, this inspiration, of course, this has inspired me, Chef, to try and yeah. make this potato pizza as well. I do have some potato products in the freezer, of course, as always. So we yeah. can try and whip this up very quickly. Chef, if people would like to follow you and learn more from you, kitchen tips, um, you know, kitchen hacks, of course, family, and maybe even a little bit about your faith. I love when you share about your faith. Where can they find you? Okay, for everyone who's watching, if you haven't followed me yet, please do follow me on my YouTube account at Chef Mom Rosebud Benitez. Also on Instagram, Chef Mom Rosebud Benitez. And on Facebook, it's all the same, Chef Mom Rosebud Benitez. I don't want to give you a hard time. So, yun lang yun, Chef Mom Rosebud Benitez. Please do follow me on my social media accounts. Para naman, you know, we could learn from each other. And I would really love to hear from all of you. Like what Michelle said, if you recreate this recipe, tag, tag Potatoes USA, tag Rappler, tag Kitchen One for Tea. Tag you na rin ako para makita ko naman how you enjoyed the recipe. Yes, we yes. want to see that also. So, Chef, before you give a taste or before you share, um, you know, and try it, let's announce the last winner. Um, congratulations, Abigail Bo Bolema. Abigail Bolema, you answered true. And yes, so um, potatoes are rich in nutrients, essential minerals, including vitamin C, potassium, carbohydrates, fiber, iron, and yes, protein. Okay. This, of course, makes it a suitable ingredient for pre- and post-workouts as well as vegan dishes. So guys, Correct. potatoes is the star here of the show. Mm -hmm. um, we know that um, it's nutrient dense, it's vitamin and mineral packed, um, and of course, very easy for moms, busy moms, or even dads to use in the kitchen. Chef, how is it? I wish I could so, taste it. Ko na. You. <laughs> I tried it already. Ko na yes. Okay, so here you go. I'll try it. Mm. <laughs> oh, sarap. I bet. Mm. It's so good because, like what I mentioned, seasoned na yung ating potato wedges. So, the crust itself is very flavorful and it complements everything. The cheese, the vegetables, the ham, so good. And you know, medyo ano para siya, yung crunchy yung crust natin. So it's good. Yes. We like that. We like crunchy crust as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Chef Mom Rose Bud Benitas, for joining us today. Of course, tune in next week where we will continue to unpack frozen U.S. potatoes 
Next week, we will be visited by Chef Jackie. And of course, she will be here to teach us some new recipes, new creative ways to use this protein power packed, vitamin rich, nutrient dense um, potato in our kitchens. Um, and if you would like the recipes from Chef Rosebud today and from Minung Rai last week, go ahead and visit potatogoodness.ph and um, shoot us a message if there's anything else you'd like to know about Potatoes USA. Thank you so much. Um, again, thank you Potatoes USA for partnering with us for this four part series. We can't wait to unpack some more. And I am Michelle Aventajado. Thank you, Chef Rosebud for, see, thank for joining you, Michelle. us. Thank Always you again, a pleasure Michelle. Thank you. Yeah, thank you also Potatoes USA for making this possible. Kain nyo to ah, sa mga nanonood. Thank, thank you. you. Bye-bye everyone. Bye.